Alright guys, next in line is strongman competitors, right? Once again, look at any strongman competitors, whether it's the top level, whether they're enhanced, or the natty level, whatever you want to look at. One thing you're going to notice about them is, once again, just like the Olympic lifters, is their trap development. They have these thick ass neck traps and upper back, right? Now, strongman competitors, right? I looked at their routine because back when I was, I'm not back, I'm still doing research on traps because the one thing I just can't fucking get, right? So I'm always observing trap development. And I noticed one thing about strongman routines, Monday through, fr Monday through Friday, right? Typical five-day training for a strongman. Monday, traps day. Tuesday, traps day. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Traps every single day. Now, do that, do that on purpose? Obviously not. It's just that all the lifts involved in strongman lifting require a lot of trap work, right? So there's a lot of trap volume. There's one thing I noticed. I, was, I used to study Bill Cosmire because he has this crazy upper back. Uh, fucking um, Juco, Aola, all these guys, right? Now, obviously, yes, there's some kind of, you know, stuff used in there, but... It remains the same. People, people forget that. People say, oh, well, they use the steroids. You gotta understand, steroids make your whole body grow, not just the, the, the muscle you're working on. I explained that before. That's why they use steroids to, they use steroids to patients who are, have, a, what's it called, muscle wasting diseases. They, you know, they're stuck in the bed and their muscles are just wasting away. Doctors give them legal you know, steroids and their whole body grow, not just their fucking traps, right? Even though it has a lot of androgen receptors. So it's not just the steroid use, right? It's the fact that they use their traps every single day. I mean, you think about the main strongman list, former carry, traps, uh, what do you call that fucking stone loading? There you go, stone loading. That's like an upright roll. That's traps, a lot of strap work. I just noticed when Bill Cosmo will do stone loading and he'll pick it up, his upper back will contract like a motherfucker, right? They'll do um, that fucking sled pull shit, right? They'll pull airplanes and shit. All that stuff, it's all upper back, a lot of upper back movements. And strongman competitors have probably the most impressive upper back development because of, you know, constant use of the traps. A strongman has to go to the gym on Monday and say, I'm going to do checks. Tuesday, I'm going to do arms. You know, Wednesday, I'm going to, no, they just go and do functional moves that require them to bend over, pick shit up, drop it, or toss it, right? Even the fucking, uh, how do you call that, Samson shit when they're being split apart by, you know what I'm talking about? Matter of fact, that's a little back balls, you know? When they're pulling the thing, it's all like upper back region, right? And they do a lot of face pulls as well. So anyway, Truman, Nucleus Overload, next video. I feel yeah, come on, <laughs> that's just anyway, a lazy person. I still am, and I believe that lazy people have the most potential out of every human being on the planet. In fact, the reason why we're so lazy is because we just we we believe it or not.